So now we're going to present a theorem where we talk about exactly what happens when there are inequality constraints and equality constraints. Suppose f g all the way up to g k, h1 all the way up to h m are all, that's an m, c1 functions of n variables. Now suppose x star in Rn is a local maximum of f subject to the constraints g1 of x is less than or equal to b1 gk of x is less than or equal to bk h1 of x is equal to c1 so these are the equality constraints hm of x is equal to cm now we have to talk about the non-degenerate constraint qualification so if g i1 x star is equal to b all the way up to g i sub a x star so this will be sub i1 is equal to b i sub a uh, are the binding constraints Further suppose that if you form this Jacobian where you just consider the functions gi1 up to gia and also the functions yielding the equality constraints you take the Jacobian with respect to all variables and of course this will be dg i1 dx at x star dg i1 dx n this will be x1 at x star all the way down to dg i a dx1 x star dg i a dxn x star and actually we have to expend, extend this down a little bit further right so now the next row is going to be the partials of h1 with respect to the x variables h1 dxn at x star and of course we take all the gradients of every everything in between all the way up to hm so this will be x1 So we have to suppose that this has rank A plus M equals the number of rows. That is, this guy is onto. And now we form the Lagrangian. L 
of all the variables up to xn. I introduce k lambda parameters. I introduce m mu parameters. And the Lagrangian is going to be f of x minus lambda 1 times the inequality constraints. minus dot 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 minus lambda k g k x minus b k minus me one h one of x minus c one minus dot 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 mu m hm of x minus cm. So that's your Lagrangian. It could be a very long-winded object. But the guarantee is that then there exists multipliers lambda 1 star up to lambda k star mu 1 star up to mu m star such that a the partials xi at x star lambda star mu star are all zero for i equals one up to n. B, we've got the complementary slackness conditions. That is lambda i star g i x star minus b i is equal to zero for I equals 1 up to K. C. We have that all the equality constraints hold. Which is kind of the anal analogy of the complementary slackness conditions because we have to be on that boundary. D, of course, all the Lagrange multipliers for the inequalities have to be greater than or equal to zero. And of course, the inequality constraints hold. And that is the full theorem concerning the Lagrangian. This is its full general form, and you can use it anytime you want. And we'll do a really quick example.